Chip Towers, and Mike Griffith. Hey, Quay, how are you doing? How are you? Good. Uh, listen, uh, yeah, we've been hearing all preseason, uh, or I have at least, you know, that, that Quay has been banged up. Uh, but obviously you're able to stand there tonight. Uh, what is the, what has been the nature of uh, whatever injury you might've had and, uh, and how are you heading into this game? Uh, I've pretty much, I haven't had any injury at all. I've just been you know, practicing like everybody else. Um, one hundred percent, just like everybody else, just working and trying to get better. I saw lean up into the game. Hey, hey, Clay, uh, I want to ask you a little bit about Clemson's run game. I heard them say the run game also includes like screens and extended handoffs with RPO. I mean, how challenging is that for an inside backer, the way Clemson stretches the field with plays that uh, they consider a part of their run game where maybe they actually put the ball in the air with a quick screen or something? Uh, just, you know what I'm saying, just a, a normal game pretty much for an inside linebacker. It may be more to the task that I have to do coming up on this week going against Clemson, but just how to have my eyes in the right place and everything else to play out for itself. Let's go to Brandon Sudge and Dean Leggy. Hey, uh, Quay, I uh, wanted to ask you about uh, Jordan Davis. So when you look at this defense as a whole, as a whole um, how – like how vital, I guess, has Jordan Davis been to you guys uh, like having success on the defensive end over the last uh, couple of years? Uh, he played he play a, a huge factor, I'd say, uh, how big he is and how he can eat up blocks and do all that. Um, especially for me, he made my he makes things way easier for me by him just lining up in front of me. So uh, whenever JD's in front of me, I ain't too much really got nothing to worry about, to be honest with you, the way he eat up blocks. So. I'm just happy to have him, to be honest with you. Quay, I wanted to ask you about not playing the game during the week. You've been around the program now for years. How does Kirby make sure that y'all don't get too hyped during the, during the week on a Thursday or, well, on a Tuesday, really, uh, to make sure you're playing it on Saturday and not during the week? Uh, I'm pretty sure everybody knows how smart it is, but at the same time, it's, um, it's the leaders. It's our, our team as well. We – we have to stand out on that. Um, and our main focus and the main two things we're focusing on this week and probably for the rest of the season is composure and attention to details. And as long as we have that, everything else can play out for itself. So just got to worry about playing football. Don't let it be more than what it is. And let's do that and everything will turn out fine. Let's go to Mark Weiser and then Jake Rowe. Well, obviously you guys haven't played another team since uh, the, the Peach Bowl. What are you curious to learn about, you know, your, you guys in, in the 60 minutes or even longer if it, if it goes further uh, against Clemson? Uh, you know, this is the first game of the year, so it's going to you know, tell us what kind of team we have, and I'm already sure what kind of team we have. So, you know, it's going to be different challenges. We're going to face adversity no matter what it may be. It may be the first opening kickoff no matter when it may be, but you just got to come prepared and everything else is going to handle itself, and we'll go from there. But I'm excited to see what kind of team we're going to have this year, and I know it's going to be a pretty good team. Thank you. Well, Quay, I know you guys try to block out the noise and everything, but I think a lot of the offseason chatter about this team has kind of been that the defense maybe have to be carried by the offense. You guys lost a lot of talent. Has, has, does that put a chip on your shoulder at all, all? Is that something that's kind of been in the back of your mind as you've worked through this offseason? Uh. I really don't too much pay attention to what other people say uh, on social media, no matter what it is, because I'm really not a social media guy anyway. But um, it's the next man. No, you gotta. That's why we recruit. That's why we do what we do, and that's why people wait their turn to step up. That's why you come here to Georgia to play in big moments and to step up whenever you, whenever it's needed. So, you know, I'm willing to do that, and the people that in the same shoes as me willing to step up as well. Um, yeah, we lost a pretty you know key pieces as well. This past season, but still got to play football at the end of the day, no matter what. Let's go to Stuart Steele and then Jed May. Hey, Quay. Uh, is there any kind of added challenge to preparing for a team like Clemson who, whose quarterback and running back from last season have gone into the league? Is it is it tough when you don't have as much tape on, say, their quarterback to prepare for them? 
Uh, I mean, I think somewhat, but um, I think the quarterback has played, and I think he started two games in Boston College and against Notre Dame. So it's pretty much enough for him, I'll say. But you know what I'm saying? It's the first game, like I just said. Um, just got to come prepared and everything go from there. But great question. Hey, Kirby said yesterday that, you know, whether y'all win or lose on Saturday, it's going to help you get better down the line, all that kind of stuff. Is that something that, you know, can be hard for, for players to understand that this is a game, like, like, like I said, this game is going to make, you know, no matter what the result on the scoreboard says. On the oh, can you say that again for me? The, the last bit of the question I ain't hear. Yeah, just is, is that something that, you know, can be hard for players to sort of take to heart the fact that whether you win or lose, this is a game that's going to pay off for y'all down the line? Oh, uh, yeah, I think going out there, no matter what we do, as long as we leave it out there, 110 uh, percent, win, lose, or draw. Um, whatever it is, we have to just, you know, be fine with that. But it's a very big game. Uh, we can't make it no bigger than what it is, even though it's the first game. So it's pretty much it, to be honest with you. Go to uh, Davis Baker and Connor Riley. Hey, Quay. Last week, uh, Adam Anderson came and told us that he wanted to get 20 sacks this season. What are your biggest goals this year? Uh, my goal is just to help lead my team and anything else to come. I don't really pay no attention to the individual goals. I'm, I'm, I'm a big team guy. So just winning game, man. I want to know every week, paying attention, just try to do our best each and every week and come out and get the W. Other than that, everything else, team and like individual goals and all that, that'll take care of itself. Hey, Quay, as someone who has a front row seat to seeing Jordan Davis play, in simple terms, what makes him so good at what he does? Uh, for one, he's six six. Uh, I like to call him a big refrigerator in front of me because he's pretty big and pretty much not going anywhere. And he can run as well. So, uh, that's pretty much – that would make him special to me. I just love having him in front of me, to be honest with you. That's answer the whole question. All right, we've got time for about two more if anybody has a follow-up. Yeah, Quay, having a teammate in, in Darian Kendrick that has played, spent plenty of time going against this kind of offense, uh, you know, has he shared anything with you all that, that may be helpful? Uh I can't really, I don't really know because uh, I'm not really a DB, so I'm not really with DK as much, but um, I'm sure he probably have, or he probably hasn't. I'm not, I'm not really sure about it. Quay, um, Monty Rice was a fixture there inside next to you in linebacker. Has anybody really stepped into that role uh, vocally? Uh, who is that new guy that's leading like Monty used to? Uh, I ain't going to say uh, – we have a guy that replaced money or whatnot, but here at Georgia in the system we play in, um, the two inside linebackers that's out there have to be over, you know, we have, have to communicate and have the same role be vocal as well. Um, whoever out there just got to do their job at a inside linebacker spot, whoever it is that's out there. So that's the standard that we have here for Coach Schumann and Coach Smart that he have held up on the inside linebackers, and that's what we're going to do. All right, Coy, thanks for your time, and uh, have a good rest of your night. All right, thank you all.